In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you how I would feel about learning front-end development in 2024 if I was to get started. Now, I should say at this point that this whole YouTube video is from a post that I made on Instagram. So if you've not followed me on Instagram, go ahead and click on the follow button. But before we get into it, let me just say that this is a very good time for you to click on the subscribe button if you've not subscribed to my channel and don't forget to like this video drop a comment uh, if you really enjoyed this video but first the first thing that i would really say for anybody that wants to learn front-end development which you probably would not see in a lot of roadmaps is that you should learn some computer science fundamentals i think for a lot of people you just go online you get a tutorial uh, and then you just start learning and i think the reason why you need to learn computer science fundamentals like and when i mean computer science fundam fundamentals I, I, in my mind i'm thinking about how the internet works how the browser works I, I think those two things are very very important because you want to really understand how whatever you're going to learn subsequently how that fits into the whole thing like so you're thinking about oh because it's going to get to a point i've mentored a lot of people and then it gets to a point and then they ask me what what am i doing what the heck am i doing like how does this thing that I'm learning, how does it fit into uh, what, when people just go online and they click on facebook.com? How does that happen? So I need, I think you need to first learn that how the internet works, how your, how the internet works basically, how the browser works, how pages are fed on the browser. Now, after you've learned that, you don't really need to go in depth into that. You just need to have a basic idea of how those things work, HTTPS and all the stuff. So the first technology you need to learn is called HTML. So HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. And just think of HTML as a glorified Word document, right? It's just a markup language that allows text or whatever to be displayed in the browser and think of also think of HTML as the skeleton as the bone of whatever web page or whatever thing you're trying to develop right so that's the first thing HTML is a markup language uh, and it's the it's basically the standard for documents that you want to put on the web browser now after you've learned that glorified uh, and I should say that it's very easy to learn uh, so after you've learned that, then the next thing that you want to uh, think about uh, is how to style that. So I already said that HTML is like the skeleton that gives your web page a structure. You use HTML, the markup language, to structure your web page. You make it look a certain way, like oh, you want this thing to be uh, heading, or you want this thing to just be a link or whatever. That's what you use HTML for. Then the next thing is now that you have the skeleton for your web for your website, you then want to style it. So you want to think of uh, the next technology which is called CSS and CSS stands for cascading style sheets from the name you already see that it's style sheet it basically uh, allows you to style your web page now you have your structure your skeleton CSS allows you to add flesh on top of that skeleton to make it look good I mean if you see a skeleton you're like ew what's that but when you think about CSS you are thinking about adding flesh making your web page look very very attractive now that you've gotten HTML and CSS out of the way now this is what one step that I would really advise a lot of people to do and like I said this is what I would do if I was learning front-end development in 2024 before I move on to the next technology I want to make sure that I perfect my HTML and CSS and how do I do that by building a lot of projects okay uh, when I was learning really when I was learning after learning my HTML and CSS what I did is that I was using my school ePorter but then you can just go to something like Facebook and using just HTML and CSS you want to try to reproduce the the, the website right you go to facebook.com the front end of facebook.com we want to try and reproduce it so by doing that you really learn a lot of things you can watch tutorial from today to eternity and then when i give you a web page to do you're like uh i can't do it you could also go to a place like figma uh and go to the community section they have there are people that have put web uh website design ui website ui that you can just go ahead and try to reproduce using their html and css build a couple of projects with that do like three or four projects 
that of different kinds of web pages and then you can be sure that oh you've done something right after you've done that we then go to the next technology which you want to pick which is called the javascript i will still continue to use the example of the human body so you already have your skeleton you have your flesh added but now there's no life in your web page and how do you add in life to your web page how do you make sure that your web page moves more or less or it, it or is interactive or is dynamic you use javascript so javascript is also the first programming language that you are going to learn now this is where i point you to all this trend and all the fights on uh on reddit or whatever now html and css are not programming language put that on my head it so the first programming language that you're going to learn is javascript and javascript allows you to add interactivity to your web pages uh it adds it makes your web page dynamic it allows you to say if you want to communicate to the server you want to make api request you use javascript right and this is when things start getting very i would say logical to do html and css for the most part it's very intuitive you see what you see right but for javascript you need to think a little bit more because it's a program language you need to learn you need to learn how to think logically after you've learned that guess what's coming next build more project for for a lot of people you just don't jump a lot of people jump into the next technology and they just keep learning technologies i really don't if you're going to learn anything i really don't advise you to just keep stacking technologies on top of technologies and just keep learning technologies on top of technologies build project at every point right now that you have html and css and javascript you can go back to the project that you worked on previously and try to integrate javascript into it and try to add javascript into it, into it or you can just pick up a new project and try to use your knowledge of html css and javascript how to manipulate the dom using javascript all those kind of things then you can go ahead and use that okay now you have html css and javascript covered let's go to the next thing the next technology that i would say you should pick up after this is git and github so what is git git is a distributed version control system that allows you to track changes that you make to the files on your computer so you already st started building project you already started doing that now when you start working on a team or even when you're working alone you want to keep track of whatever changes that you're making to your project you want to say oh this is when i added the header this is when i added the footer this is when i added the the euro section git allows you to do that Git allows you to just keep track of the changes you make to your files now that you've learned git and github now you can start pushing whatever code that you've written previously you can start putting that on github so that you can share with other people you can start keeping track of your changes now the next step in your learning journey as a on the, your way to becoming a front-end developer is now what i would say you can start learning front-end frameworks and libraries now the most simple ones that you can start picking up is to start learning css libraries now for a lot of people that i've seen they just learn html they don't really understand css and then they jump to css libraries you know they start learning bootstrap or they start learning tailwind or whatever you should already understand how those technologies work and you should already have built a couple of projects with them because frameworks and libraries are supposed to make your life easy they are supposed they are not supposed to replace your understanding of how to build a front-end web page uh, so now you can pick up CSS libraries like I already mentioned bootstrap you can do tailwind CSS there are other alternative like material UI there's also materialize um, and now that you've done that you can go to the next very interesting one which I, I and I should say that you really don't have to learn any of those CSS uh, libraries the next step of your journey is to pick up a front-end framework now you need to learn a JavaScript framework because <laughs> let me just be straight with you you most likely not get a job with just html and css and javascript you need to know a javascript framework now the alternatives are angular js vue.js react js although <laughs> i should say that some would argue that react is not a full-fledged framework it's uh, a library but they are like react uh frameworks like next.js that you could just pick up but you learn react you could either pick react or angular.js or vue.js personally i would recommend react.js because it's easy to start with uh it's not like i said it's not a full-fledged framework so you really don't need to learn a lot of things off the bat and you just 
it's basically just easy to start with uh but if you say you have a job that is coming up and wherever they are, what that job is using angular js or Vue js or any other one you could just go with that now you learn your front end framework uh the next thing that i would really advise which is the last thing that i would really talk about in your journey is to start learning how to write unit tests or integration tests or basically how to start writing tests for your front end application now you already I've gotten to a very solid point. You can already build a uh, project with the technologies above. And I should trace back my step and say that after you've learned React or whatever front end framework that you're learning, you want to build a lot of projects, like a whole lot of projects. And after you've learned that, after you've done that, then you can pick up uh, testing. You can start learning how to write tests for your front end application to just make sure that you are a solid developer i hope that you've learned one or two things from this video i'm very sure that it's not very extensive uh but maybe it is very extensive but after you've picked up testing and I, I think by the time you get to this point you should already know the next thing that you're supposed to learn in your journey and you should already be into the industry that you really can figure out your way from there so i really hope you found this video very helpful like i said go ahead click on the subscribe button if you like videos like this or you can also just drop comment to tell me the kind of videos you would love to see and don't forget to share with a friend see ya